everyone, how's it going? It's Rovato, aka Fresh. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today I have a fantastic gameplay to bring you guys with the PPSH here in Black Ops 3 on the map Combine. Um, I will show a class setup of this PPSH on the screen right now. If I forget to do that for whatever reason, the class setup is simply Quick Draw, Grip, Extended Mag, and then Flak Jacket, Fast Hand, Scavenger, and uh, Tactical Mask for the perks. Scorch Streaks I'm using Wraith Hater Wraps, pretty simple what I usually like to use. And uh, for Specialists I'm using Kinetic Armor. I usually don't use Kinetic Armor too much, but today I was feeling a little different. I'm like, you know what, let's throw on some Kinetic Armor and it ended up serving me very well. Helping me get some, uh, some impressive uh, feeds, I guess you could say. Nothing too crazy, you know, four, five, three, things like that, you know, three, four, five. Um, I, I don't know, I kind of like kinetic armor, it seems, it ha helps me get out of situations that I get myself into a lot, and sometimes it, it doesn't, you know, sometimes you get a unlucky headshot or whatnot. Um, just to say something really quick, this gameplay is a little bit of a slow start, but don't worry, it definitely picks up. I finished the game 56 and 5, do not worry, it is an impressive gameplay. Just take, you know, sometimes I takes a couple deaths for me to get going. <clears throat> Anyways, I also got pretty close to nuclear. I think I, I think I believe I was either three or four off the nuclear, and I popped kinetic armor, got a little overzealous, and ended up getting headshotted, which kind of sucked. But you know, it's it's whatever. Can't change anything now. I made a mistake, and I hopefully learned from that mistake, and it won't happen again. You know, it's all learning experience with Call of Duty. But anyways, the PPSH, let's talk about that as a gun a little bit. PPSH is obviously a DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. I actually was so lucky. I got it out of a six pack of common supply drops. Unbelievable. I can't, I, I got the M16 and the PPSH both out of um, common supply drops like a week apart of each other. So it was very, very lucky for that. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the PPSH. Some days I can use it very well, other days I can't use it for, for shit, and, uh, but, you know, when I do use it, it seems like I do, I do pretty well with it. Um, I'll either use, you have to use some sort of mag, well, you don't have to, but I highly recommend that you use some sort of magazine enhancement, uh, with, with this weapon, whether it be fast mags or extended mags. Uh, usually I would just use quick draw grip and fast mags, and as, as, as you guys probably seen in, uh, in my previous video, 50 and, 50 and 2 TDM on Breach. If you have not seen it, go check it out. That's also pretty cool. But anyways, in this game, I'm using Extended Mag. I wanted to throw it on and try it out. My cousin, uh, my cousin always uses it, the Lone Star. Uh, if you have not checked out his YouTube, go check out his YouTube. It's just the Lone Star. You'll, you should come right up. But anyways, I, I play with him a lot. And both me and him have the PPSH. And he usually uses quick draw grip and extended mag. I never really did. I don't know why. I guess I just didn't like the feel of it for whatever reason. I guess I like fast mags better. But today, or when I got this gameplay rather, um, I decided to put on extended mag and try it out. And I ended up liking it like a lot <clears throat> because 71 bullets in a submachine gun. Like that's that's ridiculous. That's as much as you get in you know LMGs. And then just you have that movement speed and. Uh, is so great and the ADS speed is it's great for feeds and you know I, as you guys will see in this gameplay the extended mag definitely paid off I mean reload speed takes a little bit longer but so what I think you can find time in your in your in the match to uh, to reload it's still not all that long you know it's 71 bullets so it's not you don't have to re reload too much it's far between reloads which is good um, I don't know really what else to say about that well Okay, I do have something else to say about the PPSH. The PPSH, you can consider it to be overpowered. I don't really think it's overpowered. Well, I don't know. I think it's I think it's well balanced. The thing with the PPSH is its its stopping power is very very weak. And what I mean by that is it takes a lot of bullets to kill. However, it shoots very very fast. I think it might. I don't know if it shoots faster than the Vesper or just as fast, or maybe it, maybe it shoots a little bit slower. I'm not really sure on the whole stats of all that. But it's it's a very fast shooting submachine gun, and it really doesn't have all that much recoil. However, the iron sights are a little bit weird. Um, but you know, when you put an, uh, an optic on, it doesn't really doesn't really do too well. The re uh, the recoil kind of screws with you. I don't know. You just have to get the feel for it. But once you do get with it, get the feel for it, it is a very deadly gun. Um, not too great at range, uh, but you know, close up this thing shreds. I like it. It's one of my favorite. I think it might be one of my favorite DLC weapons. Probably my favorite. DLC submachine gun um, besides the XMC which I did not have unfortunately if you don't know what the XMC is 
It's the MSMC that they recently uh, remastered and added into Black Ops 3 via supply drops. I opened my triple play the other day. <coughs> Whoa, voice crack. Um, I opened my triple play the other day and was hoping to get the XMC. I ended up pulling the LV Basilisk, which, uh, which is okay. But I will have a gameplay coming with that here pretty soon. Anyways, this gameplay has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like like the video, um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll be starting to make a lot more uh, videos here pretty soon. So hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.